our daughter Rhonda teaching in uh, Southern California well I guess Northern California has helped me get started at this business and I appreciate that very much I'm now getting a lot of help from Jose Padilla a young man who is recent graduate at San Luis High School in Yuma, Arizona. Well today I want to talk about religion. I'm, I'm a Christian. Uh, I believe that on the basis of my confession and my belief in Jesus Christ that that I'll go to heaven. But I'm also a sinner and I'm afraid the truth is that I'm a sinner every day. And have been and will be. And I guess the comfort of that thing is that the Bible says that we all fall short of the glory of God. But I also do believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And I believe that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, that he lived on this earth, and that he taught us about the true nature of God. And I think that a lot of religious zealots that seem to take such pleasure in the Old Testament ought to be aware of the fact that God thought he needed to clarify some things or he wouldn't have sent Jesus down here and had Jesus pay such a terrible price. In other words, I think we ought to be paying more attention to what Jesus said about what the real Christian is. And He doesn't talk about getting rich. He talks about loving your brother and there's a beautiful beautiful story in the Bible that says your brother includes people that your group ordinarily thinks of as an enemy you know the story of course the Good Samaritan well I have trouble because yes I believe I believe I believe but oh God help me with my unbelief with my fears my times of not being sure that God you're there and thank you to Time Magazine September the 3rd 2007 Time Magazine talking about Mother Teresa Mother Teresa who never has had any personal contact with us oh well as a matter of fact my wife Donna was in Scripps Hospital and uh, the word went around, all the nurses were excited, Mother Teresa's here in our facility, we're getting to help a saint. Everybody was thrilled and almost nobody except those that really were needed in her service saw her personally. She had security or they provided security, whatever. But anyway, Mother Teresa lived and Mother Teresa lived the kind of life that Jesus indicated is the real Christian life. And yet, this story reveals that she suffered and suffered not being sure that she was feeling God's presence and that she was God's chosen, one of God's chosen. That's a relief for me because, yes, I believe, I believe, but, oh, God, help me with my unbelief. Substitute the word heaven for Jordan in this little phrase of a song says a lot about my feelings about heaven. You know, I want to believe my mother and daddy, my grandparents, my departed older and younger brother, my Christian friends. I want to believe that they're in heaven, and I believe they are. I believe that when, when on the cross Jesus said to the one who believed that he was the Son of God, this day you will be in a better place with me. I really believe heaven's there. On Jordan stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful eye to Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie. You know, 
but I'm old. My days are numbered, both my grandfather's and my uh, father died at about 84, and I've already had that 79th birthday. I want to believe that heaven is real, and I believe it is. And in another message, I'll tell you some of the strange things that have been happening to me that make me think I'm supposed to speak out on some things about what God wants we Americans to think about and consider as part of our Christian lives. Goodbye for this time.